Hey everyone, this is Man the Black Hat, and I'm back for more Let's Play Cave Story on ResoWalkthroughs.com. Where well, the labyrinth does exist, however, the path leading to the exit is obstructed by a single boulder. I'm not even sure if the exit can be reached after removing the massive piece of rock. Okay. That teleporter there was working before. Hmm. Well, even when it was working, its destination point was someplace in the labyrinth. Yep. Hi. This is the labyrinth shop. Unfortunately, a burglar broke in recently and took everything. So I don't have anything to sell you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, look, I'll give you this. Obtain the turbo charge. Yay! It's free, no charge. You don't have any money anyways, right? Yeah, that's true, we haven't earned any money in this entire game. So, out we go to kill many things. For delicious Doritos! And also, wow! The sword apparently kills these things in one shot. Die. All of you die. And... Back to the machine gun. Hup. I am so tempted to sing along with the music, but eh, I won't. Ooh! Die. All of you die. Yay! It's really important to get the sword up to level 3. Because the sword is one of your more powerful weapons. <laughs> I'm a physician. Allow me to take care of you. Don't worry, I won't take your money. In exchange, please accept a simple request from me. There's an old clinic nearby. Go there and see if there's any medicine left inside. Yay, clinic key! I'm a nurse. I worked at the clinic nearby. But a dark ghost began haunting it, so I ran away and came here. Okay. Hi. Long time no see. You look great. So, were you warped down here by that witch misery? Me too. Even you weren't able to succeed against them. I did have a tiny bit of hope. Like you, I tried my best, and this is where I ended up. I'm disappointed in myself. When it comes down to it, I couldn't protect them. Well, this body is in bad shape. Getting out of here is going to be next to impossible. Eesh. Well, don't worry, Curly Brace. I'll get you out of here. In fact, this is the last video I made before I decided I needed to practice because after the upcoming boss rush in this area, there's an area that's a bit of a skill-induced maze. And if I don't take the right turn off at the right time, I could lose Curly Brace permanently. In fact, there's two areas that I know of up ahead where if you don't do things correctly, you lose a character. They flat out die. Die? Speaking of. Die? We. Almost. Darn it. We. The notice that a lot of my weapons are kind of stained at level 3 because I don't ever use them. Hmm. Nothing in here. Open the treasure chest, and got a cure-all! Yay! Well, that was easy. Oh, crap! It's the Ghost Balrog! Ow. Now, notice that he uses the bubble weapon. It does kind of mean that your bubble weapon is a bit effective against him, but... I wouldn't really rely on it, because it doesn't hit him enough. 
Again, machine gun's your best friend. Because it'll cut right through those bubbles. And, as you can see, it's really effective. Also, this guy advertises where he's going to hit by using the bubbles. So, just make sure the bubbles are going in one direction and nail him from another. There you go. Ghost Balrog defeated. That is an optional boss, by the way. Ow. Jerk. Yep. Hmm. Ah, oh, you bastard. Die. Yay, level up. Yay, max level. Ooh, almost. So close. But let's finish this little micro quest. I'm a physician. Allow me to take care of you. Yay, you found it. Thank you and sorry for the trouble. Please leave the rest to me. And... It says the same thing again. Save, because paranoia. Legendary Labyrinth. I don't know who built it, but it must be for some kind of trash collection. There's only one way to escape. You'd have to move a massive rock that's found inside a separate chamber. I'd go with you, but in my current state, I'd be more of a burden than a help. Well, thanks, Curly. That's okay. We'll need your help soon anyways. Kill all the things. And that puts it up to level 3. Which, as you can see, is badass. Level 3 pretty much kills everything on the screen with the sword. Huh. This does not appear to be the right way. Um. Nope. Um. Nope. Yeah, it's a wall. Okay. Weird. Die. Yay, health. And there we go. And there we go. We got the arms barrier. Now, the arms barrier is nice because it will keep you from losing all of your Dorito chips whenever you get hit. It's a sturdier bag for your Doritos. Which is nice. So, with that out of the way, it's time to go face Monster X. We face down Phantom. I believe that's actually the name of that optional boss, is Phantom. And this area is dangerous. Alright. Uh, still need to do the practice on this area because I haven't yet just haven't been motivated to do much let's playing lately I don't know why these traps are easy to get around if you know the pattern which is up and down there we go die now coming up as you can see over there, is Monster X. Guess why it's called Monster X? I'll give you a hint. It's because... It's shaped like an X. That's... really, that's it. It's called Monster X because it's shaped like an X. Machine Gun will be your best friend here, as will the... Rocket Launcher. Uh-oh. Boss time! Ow! And jump! Jump! Monster X is designed to track you. And for phase one of this fight, destroy the four thingamagoobers in the corners. Decide where you want to face it. And then just 
jump from bit to bit. And there we go. Phase one is complete. The boss is now vulnerable in that big eye in the center. As you can see, the machine gun makes it go down at a pretty decent rate, but it will fire these things at you. This is where using the rocket launcher comes in handy because the machine gun runs out of ammo quickly. And the rocket launcher has a good spread on it. Actually, using the bubble gun here is a pretty good idea, too. So you have a good amount of options to use. As you can see, rockets really don't stand a chance. The bubbles do a decent job of it. But that's it for Monster X. Oh, kitty! Ah! <laughs> And that's the second boss of this tiny area, actually. Onward. Oh! Do not help the professor. Don't go down to him. If you don't have the machine gun, that red area is where you're supposed to jump in order to make it to the other side. If you go down to him and help him, he gives you the inferior rocket pack. And that will kill him. You want him to develop the good rocket pack to get him out of there. Otherwise, he dies and you get the... You made it. I've been waiting for you to get over here all this time. If this rock moved, we can continue onwards to the labyrinth exit. Rumor has it there's a creature's lair up ahead. Be prepared for anything. Well then, let's move this boulder to the side. Hold that in, and then... She's not kidding. Uh, be prepared for a hard fight. It won't move at all. Maybe it's impossible to move with only the two of us. Oh yeah! Hi, Balrog. Hey, it's you! <laughs> so you are alive! And on top of that, you two are trying to escape from the labyrinth. Shouldn't you be resting instead of trying to make an escape? Remember that you can't defy the master any more than I can. Fine then, I'm ending this. Just stay with the rest of the scrap metal. Oh, this is perfect. You can grab the middle. And he does. Ready? Are you two listening to me at all? And this is the last ball. Ah! Why? This is the last Balrog fight. This is the only time when Balrog. Ah! Why did I do that? It's the only time when Balrog has his missile launcher. And he uses super missiles, which is a clue what item you get for beating them. Come on. Ooh! Hi. Machine gun's great for this because you can just float over him. Ow! You know what? I got rockets too. Jerk. I'm not afraid to rocket spam. And done! Defeat it again. Oh, I'll move the rock for you. But in return, keep the fact that I helped move it for you a secret. Don't you worry. Here goes. Got it. Me helping you guys, it's our little secret. Right. And that'll pretty much do it might actually be one of the good guys. This is Man the Black Hat, 
and we'll see you next time for more Let's Play Cave Story on rezowalkthroughs.com. Later, folks.